the objective of this video is to solve simple exponential equations. Okay, now this is called an exponential equation. So the first question is, I want to solve this equation where it says 3x squared is equal to 75. So when you're solving any equation, the foundation principle or the foundational idea, the basic idea is the same. So you want to find the value of x. When you say solve, you want to find the value of x. You've got 3 times x squared. So this, I'll write the first step like this. This is 3 times x squared is equal to 75. <clears throat> okay, so here you've got a 3. I want to get rid of this 3. So when you want to find x, what you're doing is you, you want to isolate this x on one side. So this, what's happening to 3 with x squared? So 3 is multiplied to x squared. So I want to get rid of this 3. So what should I do? I should divide this side by 3. So 3 times x squared divided by 3. So if I'm dividing this side by 3, you have to do the same thing on the other side. So this is 75 divided by 3. Okay, so this is, so let me cancel. So can we cancel this 3 and this 3? Yes, we can. So what is left over, uh, let me use a brown color. So this is 3, so what is left over is x squared is equal to. So 3 goes in 75 how many times? So, well, this, if you know the times table, so can you understand uh, 75 is 25 times 3? And this is 3. I've written 75 as 25 times 3. So what gets cancelled? You've got a 3 year, you've got a 3 year. So what's remaining is x squared is 25. So now I want to write this side and this side. This is in squared. So can I write this as a square? Okay, so yeah, in this step, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of this square. So what should I do? I should square root it. The opposite of square is square root. So if I do square root of this side, and if you're doing, doing a square root of a number, you have to put a plus or minus there. Okay? In my previous video, I have explained why you have to put plus or minus. I'll explain this again. So square and square root are opposite of each other. They cancel each other out. So square root of x squared means it's x is equal to plus or minus square root of. So this, of course, if you want to write this, can I write this? This is plus or minus square root of uh, phi squared. 25, I hope you know, is phi squared. So can you see the square and square root cancels each other out? So the answer is plus or minus phi. Now you may wonder why should I write on a calculator? So if you do it on a calculator, the calculator gives you only one answer. Suppose if you do uh, menu run, so if you press square root of 25, it gives you only one answer. Okay. Uh, but you should know if you do phi squared, so let me put, uh, let me explain this in a different way. So x phi squared is 25. So if square root of 25 is phi, to, uh, the opposite of that is saying phi squared is 25. But you should also know negative phi squared is 25. Or if you want to write this in a different way, negative phi times negative phi. Negative phi squared is negative phi times negative phi is also 25. So both the answers should be written. So we let us check this. Let us check. Always good to check our answer. So I'm going to check my answer is plus or minus phi. So well, what are we doing? So this, this is 3 times phi squared. So this is 3 times 25 which is 75. So phi if plus phi is right. What if I put minus phi? So 3 times minus phi squared is also 3 times 25. Because negative phi squared also gives you 25 as I showed you just now. So that is also 75. So this step is very important. You need to go back and always check whether the answer is making sense. Okay. Let us move on to the next question. 5x squared 
okay let me this is five I'm um, let me change this to 5x cube so I wanted to stop and try to do this yourself if you can hopefully you have done it so what should we do the first step so I'm going to write this as 5 times x cube is equal to I'm going to do this in a different way this is can I write this as a 5 well 5 times what is 160 okay so 5 times what is 160 so I'm going to divide 160 by 5 so 5 goes in 5 goes in uh, 16 uh, 15 uh, sorry 16 3 times and remainder 1 so 5 times 2 so sorry I, I need to change the this to Q to the power of 5 okay so so this also has to change to 5 I was not thinking when I was making this example up so 5x cube 5x cube is 160 so I can write this implies from this can you understand 160 is equal to 5 times 32 okay 5 times 32 does make sense 5 times 32 is 160 so you've got 5 and 5 on both sides so can we cancel this like this yes we can so we are left with x to the power of 5 is equal to 32 now I want to write 32 as a power of 5 can we write 32 as a power of 5 well I don't know so let me do a side working yeah so I'm going to factorize 32 like this this is called prime factorization of 32 so I'm, I'll start with 2 so I'll ask my question ask this question 2 times what is 32 so well 2 times 16 is 32 so 2 times what is 16 so 2 times 8 is 16 so again 2 goes in 8 4 times 2 goes in 4 2 times and 2 goes in 2 1 times so what does this mean so what does this mean so this means 32 is nothing but 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 so let's confirm what is 2 times 2 which is 4 what is 2 times 2 which is 4 and times 2 just to explain this in a different way so this is equal to 4 times 4 times 2 and what is 4 times 4 which is 16 16 times 2 is 32 so can you see 32 so we can say 32 as a power of 2 is 2 to the power of 5 if you remember this it will be good but if you can't remember there's always a way way out here so can I say therefore x to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5 2 to the power 5 so the basis this is the base of the left hand side so you've got a base here x to the power 5 and here the base is 2 to the power 5 so the powers are equal so the bases can be compared it's very logical this this there's a 5 here as a power and there's a 5 as a power so if the powers are same you can say the bases are equal so I can say well therefore x is equal to 5 x is equal to 2 so let us check the answer so let us put this back in this question so well this is 5 times yeah, x is 2 so it is 2 to the power of 5 which is 5 times what is 2 to the power of 5 we just saw that is 32 the 2 times 32 I don't know so I'm going to do the strategy of halving and doubling so that is same as 10 times 16 which is 160 or you can use your calculator so or you can do in a different way 5 times 30 so let me do that in a different way suppose if I want to do this in a different way 5 times 30 is 150 is equal to 150 and 5 times 2 is 10 which is 160 okay 
I think this is the last question. 3x cube is equal to 192. So what are we going to do? We're going to write this as 3 times x cube is equal to, I want to write this as 3 times something. Okay, so I'm going to divide 192 by 3. Okay, so 3 goes in 19 how many times? So 3 goes in 19 six times and three the remainder is one so three goes in 12 four times so it is three times 64 so i hope you can see the pattern here three and three gets cancelled so here you've got x cube is equal to 64. i want to write 64 as a as a power of three so i have to do the prime factorization so let us factorize 64. okay so 64 you can divide by 2 so 2 goes in 64 32 times 2 goes in 64 sorry 30, 16 2 goes in 32 16 times 2 goes in 16 8 times 2 goes in 4 times 2 goes in 4 2 times so you have to go till 1 okay so yeah this is a bit tricky situation. So I hope you can see 64 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. So let me highlight this. Can I highlight this? Yeah. So let me move this to this side. Okay. So this. So let me write. So there are how many twos? There are six twos here. Okay. But I want to write this as a power of 3. So I'm going to group this. So this is one group. This is a second group. This is a third group. So can I write 64 is 4 times 4 times 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. So 64 is 4 cube. 64 is 4 cube. Or 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So can I say x cube? is equal to 4 cube. So the powers are equal. The powers are equal on both sides. So the bases have to be equal. Therefore, I can say x is equal to 4. So finally, let us check our answer. That's always a good technique. So let's check. We say that x is equal to how much? x is equal to 4. So that means 3 times 4 cube is 3 times 64. We know 4 cubed is 64 now. So I don't know 3 times 64. So I can go, well, what is 3 times 60? 3 times 60 is 180. And I, I, I can go 3 times 4, which is 12. So this means 3 times 64 is equal to 192. So you can be really proud of yourself. And you can give yourself five smiley faces.